Hello, and welcome to Justice Speaks. I am David Wallace, a Chief Assistant Prosecutor in Michigan in the United States, and I'm co-president of the Justice Speakers Institute. We are continuing our discussion on traffic safety and specifically the global demand for traffic safety and the impact the traffic crashes have across the planet. Every year on the third Sunday of November, it is the World Day of Remembrance for Road Traffic Victims. To talk about the Day of Remembrance and the global issue of traffic safety, I'm excited to have as my guest, Ms. Banita Fidyova, who is the Secretary General for the World Day of Remembrance Foundation. Ms. Fidyova, thank you so much for joining me on Justice Speaks. It's a great honor. Thank you very much for the invitation. So first, tell me a little bit about yourself. My name is Banita Fidyova. Uh, I am uh, from Bulgaria. And I am working now as the Secretary General of the World Day of Remembrance for Road Traffic Victims Foundation. I have a master's degree in law and I've started working with road victims in 2012 and fighting for their legal rights. Uh, I've start, uh, started uh, organizing World Day of Remembrance events in my home country, Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. And later in 2018, I joined the European Federation for Road Traffic Victims as a project officer for the World Day of Remembrance. And since then, I am in charge of the web page, the platform that we give to all organizers all over the world. And I am coordinating the campaigns, materials, and event organizers. So not much. You don't keep busy at all then. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> So you said you're the Secretary General of the Foundation. You gave a little bit about what you do. What is the foundation? What's its purpose? Well, Day of Remembrance for Road Traffic Victims Foundation actually was established just a year ago uh, as an uh, independent body. Uh, it was established in uh, Brussels, Belgium, and it's an international foundation. The purpose is uh, to ensure the widest possible awareness throughout the globe of the existence of the World Day of Remembrance for Road Traffic Victims, a day held on 13 day of November every year since 1995, as uh, according to the uh, United Nations Declaration, the appropriate acknowledgement for victims of road traffic crashes and their families, and also to engage with relevant actors within the UN, and the international community and help highlight to World Day observance and activities, including via the, our uh, web page and social media platforms, the continuous global road casualty count with profound impact and urgency effort to help it. Well, and as you mentioned, the United Nations has recognized as well that this is an important time to remember uh, those that are injured and lost their lives and support the families and, and the victims of this terrible thing that's happening across the globe. Um, I guess, so cl clearly they're saying traffic safety in general is an issue. Uh, what, what sort of things that you recognize in terms of traffic, global traffic safety? Excuse me, can you repeat the question? Of course, and that was a terrible question. I, rec I freely admit that. What, what's some of the issues in traffic safety around the globe? Of, you know, every every 24 seconds, someone is dying on the world road. Mm -hmm. While we are speaking, uh, 10 more people uh, were uh, injured in uh, road crashes. Uh, the impact is huge, not only on the, on the devastated families of the victims, but also uh, on the national economic and international relations. Uh, United Nations, um, declared this issue. Uh, they declared the second decade of action for road safety. Um, the first one uh, was uh, till 2020. The, the second one started last year and it will last till 2030. They put a lot of um, goals and targets. Uh, the one uh, maybe which is uh, the most important for the road victims is reducing the road fatalities by 50%. Unfortunately, uh, this is an acceptable target, uh, especially for road victims. 
uh, we cannot accept uh, even one more victim on the road. Sure. For example, I have two children. I cannot accept that one of them uh, could die in, in a road crash. So uh, what we are doing is uh, to encourage the member states, to encourage the governments, to encourage the local communities, to encourage uh, organizations, nonprofit organizations, uh, to encourage uh, even uh, victims' families to do their best to show the impact of the road crashes and to um, make the governments to, to do the right steps to, to, to stop this uh, to, to, to stop these uh, figures and numbers no, and to, stop this. to stop the travesty that happens because of yeah. it um, yeah so what I'm hearing you say then is with the foundation and and just in general uh, you believe a better goal is zero fatalities zero injuries this is the only target zero vision zero near to zero this is the only target that victims could accept Zero fatalities, zero seriously injured on the world road. So, uh, we've met. You mentioned a little bit here about the uh, the impact that's been happening to families, uh, and you mentioned also of every twenty four seconds, uh, someone is dying. Uh, and then, how many injuries are there in overall, in general? Well. According to the WHO, the World Health Organization, uh, 1.35 million uh, people are dying every year and the uh, injured are uh, 10 times more. There is actually no uh, global statistic on, on the injuries. So one of the things I've seen, or at least I've heard, uh, talked about is, and I believe even on your website, uh, that this these traffic crashes impact uh, even more focused, it seems like, on the poor and the ones that don't have a lot of advantages. Is that a fair statement? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, actually, Please, uh, the, the road crashes are all over the world, even in the in the high com income countries and the low income countries and the middle income countries, the impact is the same. Uh, recently, uh, there was a publication here for the European Union. And for the past 10 years, in exam for example, in Europe, uh, 6,000 children lost their lives on, on road crashes. Uh, the figures are tremendous. No matter if we are living in America, South Africa, Cambodia, or uh, India or wherever we are, someone is dying. And this is unacceptable. So uh, we have to do something to stop that. All of us, uh, our, uh, our families, our children, our teachers, our schools, all, all of the organizations should be involved in the road safety projects and in road safety in general. And. Uh, uh, clearly, you're very passionate about this, and right, rightfully so, because as you said, people are dying because of it. Um, the World Day of Remembrance, well, how did that come about how, in general? How did that start up and uh, work to where we're at now? Well, Day of Remembrance uh, has a really long history. Uh, it dated uh, since 1993. The co-founder of the foundation, Mrs. Bridget Choudhury, lost her son in 1991 in a terrible crash in, in England. And since then, uh, she dedicated her whole life in uh, helping road victims. First, uh, she established a charity organization in London. And in 1993, uh, she came up with the idea of World Day of Remembrance. At first, it was like um, uh, religious services uh, in, the, in their country. In 1995, uh, the World Day became European Day of Remembrance because uh, there, were, there is an organization, European, European Federation for Road Traffic Victims, uh, which uh, at that point contained uh, country, uh, members of organizations, non-profit organizations from all over the Europe. Uh, so under the umbrella of FEVER, uh, it became the, the European Day. 
Later, uh, they uh, invited more organizations all over the world and uh, becomes uh, World Day of Remembrance. In 2005, the uh, United Nations uh, adopted the World Day of Remembrance. Uh, uh, by it was adopted the world day of remembrance was adopted in 2005 by the un general assembly as the appropriate acknowledgement for victims of road traffic crashes in their families and since uh, then the world day uh, was uh, commemorated all over the world and uh, now we have uh, 208 countries visited in, on our webpage, even more than the recognized countries by the UN. <laughs> so yes, it's a global day. It's a world day and it's commemorated everywhere by governments, by non-government organizations, by families, by communities, by municipalities everywhere around the world. So it started out to the dream of one person and has become a global effort to uh, recognize these tragedies. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is the example of how one person uh, could uh, endorse the whole world. And has here, or at least is raising awareness to uh, hopefully make a difference. So uh, we're almost now 20 years, not quite there, obviously, but 17 years now since it started, or at least officially by the UN. And uh, it's actually grown, as you said, 208. Uh, countries now um what is there a spotlight or anything specific that the, the the world day of remembrance focuses on or how does that work um now with the collaboration of the united nation and uh, united nation road safety collaboration uh and some other organizations there was a dedicated a slogan for the whole decade of action, which is a member support act. And uh, we are adding act for a specific theme each year, but also every uh, organization or every organizer could add a local action uh, among its community. So how it's working uh, every third Sunday on November, uh, this year is on 20th of November, uh we invite all the world to join the commemoration uh we are providing a platform for road victims and their families to remember all, uh, all people killed and serious injured on the road and uh, also what is very important uh this is the day uh when uh, we pay a tribute to the dedicated emergency crew police, medical professionals who deal with uh, the traumatic aftermath for, uh, of road crashes. And How people can, uh, can join, uh, what they can do is to visit our webpage. Uh, they can fill uh, the event, uh, the event uh, section. They can tell us uh, where they came from, what they are planning. They can download uh, the materials. They are completely free. They can use the logo of the World Day of Remembrance. They can use the poster. Every year we provide a different poster. They can uh, download it from the web page for free. They can edit it. We are now offering the, the poster uh, in six languages. Mm -hmm. But if someone is in need in, uh, in a language that is not of one of the six official languages of the WHO, they can contact us and we are providing translations. We have the logo translated in more than 20 languages. Wow. And uh, uh, there is a symbol of the World Day of Remembrance and everything is available for, for free on the web page. And you said the website, do you have the website address? worlddayofremembrance.org. We'll make sure we get that in there. Um, and I will say for those listening that we will have the in the show notes as well, the link directly to uh, their website. So um, you talked a little bit about how to get involved in this thing. Is there, uh, I mean, this this is an issue that at least from what I've seen in, in general, it seems like you almost have to have something happen to your family, to a, a friend to get that, that passion to care about it 
how do we get that message broader and really make an impact? To sh I mean, we're having, these are impacting millions of people everywhere on the globe, but how do we expand that message so that everyone cares about this issue? Do you know someone uh, who is not involved or his family was uh, a family member uh, has not been involved in a crash recently? Me, no. So everyone is involved. Uh, but what is important and how people can participate even at home, uh, we have one initiative called the Light of Hope. Uh, with the Light of Hope initiative, everyone could light a candle on their window on the evening of the of the 13th day of November, and this candle could be in memory of the of their loved ones lost, or for someone they know, or uh, just just to to show to to their neighbors and to their neighborhood that this issue is very very important. So you get you mentioned that what um, downloading the material and the campaign and the brochures and that. Uh, what are you seeing out there as far as some of the activities that are being done uh, by others uh, as groups or by governments? There are many events. Uh, you can visit our webpage again, worldfremembers.org, and the event section you can find different events all over the world already registered for this year, but also for the past years. Uh, people are involved in different ways. For example, government, uh, governments provide um, different campaigns uh, the whole month or a week before the World Day of Remembrance or during the Day, the day of Remembrance. Uh, there are uh, different global uh, event, events. For example, UN and WHO are hosting annual events for the World Day of Remembrance where when uh, global leaders are talking about the, the issue and the impact of the road deaths. Uh, local organizations organizing marches, religious services, uh, even concerts. Uh, there are a lot of art for the World Day of Remembrance. Uh, during the Light of Hope initiative, uh, many um, buildings were uh, um, lighten up uh, Sure. For for the for in the colors of the World Day of Remembrance, so there are different ways to commemorate the day. And all important for this for this activity to, as you say, to recognize the tragedies that have been going on. Yes, and also one important uh, thing to mention that we are trying to is to support local organizations to have um, dedicated memorials for road victims. And how are you going? What are you working on that? What do you mean by that? One of one of the goal of the foundation is to have a memorial for road victims in each country, at least in their capital cities. And uh, this is one of the things that we are uh, trying to to uh, raise money and awareness to governments because establishing a memorial means that local authorities and governments must be involved. True, true. And that's not a bad thing to have everybody, governments and local uh, individuals and people in those countries involved in this effort, obviously. So, yes, without countries, we cannot, without governments, we cannot do anything. So uh, in this, the foundation that's been set up, you said that's been recently set up. Do you have partners that uh, you're working with at this point in time? Yes, uh, since a very long time, United Nations World Safety Collaboration is one of the partners of the foundation. Uh, United, Nations, uh, United Nations Special Envoy for Road, uh, for Road Safety, Mr. Jean Todt, and other uh, many other organizations all over the world are part of our community so uh, if an organization just to come back and emphasize if an organization wants to learn more about the foundation or the world world day of remembrance where can they go they have to visit the web page or just type in google <laughs> world day of remembrance and if they want to participate or join the, the, the global commemoration, they just have to go to the event section and register their event. 
what we are doing we are uh, promoting each event on our web page and also on the social medias and we are trying to give more publicity of uh, of the of the event organizers well mr yoda i want to thank you so much for taking some time here with me um on this very important issue uh, that's happening around the globe and uh, trying to raise awareness to the tragedies that are occurring because of traffic crashes and the injuries that are occurring and fatalities and um, clearly uh, I believe that you're making a difference and making changing thoughts and raising awareness and that's sometimes the first step to getting actions to follow through so again thank you so much for your time Thank you very much for the invitation. And I hope that uh, Justice Speakers Institute will join this year commemoration and we will see you uh, with your event on our webpage. Very good, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. The Justice Speaks podcast is brought to you by the Justice Speakers Institute, LLC. The premier international speakers bureau on justice issues. This podcast is to give you the knowledge and be able to ask the questions on creating justice in your community.